Hey guys, welcome back to the Slightly Unusual Facebook page. I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. He is Ryland, and we're here back with another Office Magic. And Ryan, I'm going to tell you a story. You know when we went to London, you and I went to London with Mommy and Thea, and we went, uh, and we went down London Bridge, yeah. and there were all those people that were playing, um, trying to find the thing underneath the P, and you know, they were betting money, and Mommy wanted yeah. us to rush along and stuff like that. Yeah. That's a very common con game that's played around the world, and it originated with something called the three-card trick, where you mix three cards up and you have to guess which one's where. And I got conned, me, I got conned. When I was like 15 years old, I went on holiday with my mom, mom and dad to Tenerife. And you've never been to Tenerife, but uh, I went on a holiday to Tenerife and there were people doing that game. And even though my dad told me not to, because my dad was a policeman, I bet money, all of my money, and I lost. Do you want to know, shall I tell you the story about what happened? Yeah. Okay, check this out. So the, the man that was doing it to me, he had three cards. And he said, uh, he said to me, it's a really simple game. He said, look, I've got, a, uh, I've got an ace of hearts and I've got another ace of hearts and I've got an ace of spades. All you have to do is follow the ace of spades. If you follow it and get it right, you win. And I was like, OK, I'll bet. I'll bet. So I bet money. Right. I bet money. I bet, I bet, a, uh, I bet like five pounds. I bet money. And he said, right, watch the ace of spades. And then he, he made me look for a second in another, in another direction. He said, look over there. And when I looked over in the other direction, I saw him slip that ace of spades to the bottom. So I thought, ha, 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 I've got him. So he said, where's the ace of spades? And I said, it's on the bottom. And he said, no, that's the ace of hearts. And I was like, well, well, if it's not on the bottom, it's, it's got to be on the top. And he said, no, the top card is the Ace of Hearts. And I went, well, if it's not on the bottom or the top, it's got to be in the middle. And he went, no, that one's the Ace of Hearts. I went, hang on a minute, you're cheating me. There's three Ace of Hearts there. There's no Ace of Spades. He said, no, the Ace of Spades is on the bottom. You lose. And I hang on, if the Ace of Spades is on the bottom, the Ace of Spades can't be on the top. He said, look, there's an Ace of Spades on top. You lose. I said, there can't be an Ace of Spades in the middle. He said, look, the Ace of Spades is in the middle. You lose. I'm like, what? What? I said, there's got to be more than three cards. He went, one, two, three, just three cards. You lose. I'd lost pretty much all of my money at this point. And my dad was saying, come on, let's go. Let's go. You've learned a valuable lesson. You know how parents do. You've learned a valuable lesson here, son. And I was like, look, 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 look. I need one more chance. And the, the man, he was really friendly, even though he took all my money. He said, look, I'll give you a chance to win it back. Double or nothing. I, I was like 50 pound down now, which was a lot when I was a kid. A lot now. I was, he, he said, look, I'll turn over two cards. I'll turn over an ace of hearts and an ace of spades. If you can tell me what that card is, then you can have all your money back. If not, you owe me double. My dad was saying, don't do it, son. Don't do it, son. Don't do it, son. And I was like, no, I'm going to do it. Because here's the thing. My, I always thought that my, I knew best. And looking back, my dad always knew better than me. Remember that. That's an important lesson for you, right? So I, I, I said, right, I'm going to take the bet. And he said, what do you think it is? And I said, well, it's meant to be an ace of hearts, but knowing my luck, it's probably half an ace of hearts and half an ace of spades, and you cheated me. And you know what the man said? The man said, the joke's on you. You owe me double the money. And I walked away, and I had no money for the rest of my holiday. And the moral of this story, Ryan, is always, always, always listen to your dad, because your dad knows best. So there we go. That's it. That's another, uh, you know, important lesson for the sons out there. Their dads know everything. That's the important lesson for your sons. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. We're going to be back here tomorrow with another Office Magic. Thanks very much. Don't forget to follow the Facebook page. We go live, uh, we go live with videos up every single day. We'll see you tomorrow.